Hello and welcome, this is Honeysuckle bringing you another episode of Creepy Tale. And we finished off on episode 6. I did run through and apparently complete the game. And I have the recording but it has no audio, no game sounds, nothing. So we are going to just jump in where we left off in the last episode and pick up from there. Now it does start you episode 6 right here where you have to go through all this again so I will just skip through and come back when we're where we left off okay here we are we just got through this tree now since I did play it I figured out all the puzzles the hard way so now I know what to do but you can see those berries on the bushes in front of that tree and these are the same bushes and if you play the clarinet it ripens or it grows play it again and it ripens if you play it one more time, they'll fall off and die. So just two times. And then you run through the house, and there's two more to get. Then right here. Then we run back through and go past the tree. I love bouncing on those things. They're fun. Can't do anything here. He just lets you go by. But then, look. He steals our flute. And breaks it. Meanie. Alright, so we just run along. Who's in the carriage? It's a little girl wearing a crown. Uh oh, she smells a boy. She smells me. Does she see me? No, she doesn't see me. She looks very angry. Okay. They're leaving. Let's walk again, so we're just going to run away. No sense following them, because there's nothing there. Now we're on chapter three. Now this is a puzzle. There's two towers. If you pull this rope, you see that rope there, right here moves. See? And you pull this rope, and the one upstairs moves. So we're going to run up here. I'm going to grab the fishing pole. I'm going to grab this stone. And this stone. And then we can't get by him yet. So we're going to run down. There is another... No. There's a stone right here. So we grab that stone. We've got three. And we come out. We want to come up here in this one. Now this is a puzzle. Stand on the second one. Well, I don't know why that's not working. Okay, changed from last time. So I'll just have to figure out the puzzle. Wasn't it? Basically, just step on the one that takes you higher up. Not that one. Eventually, I'll remember it. All right, three. Or oh, sorry. Second one. Third one. Second one. 
first one. Second one. This one. This one. This one. And this one. Then we can pull this lever. Then we can ride this up. We need the bell. You can see a keyhole. We need a key. And that'll open those platforms out so we can jump across. So let's go back out. Uh oh. They caught a monster. girl. She puts a red butterfly in. Put your hand on the door and it opens up. butterflies leave them and they just sit there. Alright, so we can get out. And we're going to run past them. And we're going to use our fishing pole right here at the fish. Caught a fish. Now we go back to the first tower. This took me so long to figure out the first time through. Alright, so now we have the bell and the fish. We're going to put the bell here. We're going to ring the one upstairs. Immediately run up here. Grab the bell. Now hide. Run away. Oh, we did this wrong. Because we should have... We need to move the plant. He goes back upstairs. Alright, so we move the plant there. Let's try this again. Hang the bell. Ring the bell. He's coming to come downstairs. So we grab the bell. And we hang it up down here. And get him to come on down. And we hide in that plant. Run upstairs while his back is turned. And we're just going to run all the way upstairs. I'm going to get this mask. Grab this stone off the floor. Scare the bird. And it gives us that stone. Then we lower this. Then let go. Hook the fish. And now we're going to lower it. He sees it. But we don't want him to get it. So we've reached it up there. Now we let go. And now he's distracted. So stand here in front of this board game. And let's play. Now this game took me forever to figure out last time and I'm pretty sure it was trial and error I'm hoping it didn't change we're going to go to the lowest There we go. Now we grab that key. And now we leave and go back to the other tower. Here we go. 
go. We brought this back up. Put the key in. Awesome, that brings these out. Now jump and then move over is the best way to climb these. Otherwise you jump too far. Oh, like that. And if you miss, then this thing is stuck up there. And you have to come back over here and do this puzzle again. That brings that platform back down. It took me like five tries to get this the first time, so hopefully it doesn't take that long this time. Alright, now we use our fishing pole. Now bring the last one out. There we go. And we use our fishing pole again. Drag that down, but it breaks the fishing pole. But that's okay. Now here we run out through this door. Now this took me forever to figure out. But basically just leap of faith, just jump. Yeah, that really surprised me the first time. Okay. Oh, there's the princess. So, this is important. Uh, basically, you want to figure out which one we're doing. It took me so long to figure this out. So, we get a butterfly. Come over here. And I've already forgotten which one we do. All right, see the row of black dots on the bottom. We need first, fourth, and fifth. Okay, first, fourth, and fifth. First, fourth, and fifth. Then turn on the gas. Alright, dip our butterfly in here, and then let it out. If it's blue, you did it right. Okay, he is awake. Now we need to empty this. Alright, we're going to look at the book again, because we need the middle three. Okay. Now here, we don't want to get caught, so wait until they walk away. Grab a carrot off the table and run back out. Whew, that was close. Alright, so this time we want to do the middle three. Now we're connected. So now we're controlling the monster. So we're going to come down here. And he's gone. Then we come in here. And 
bound, he's set free. All right, we can move again. So let's run downstairs. I mean, I feel bad for the girl, but she was obviously a bad, 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 bad person. Okay. So, there's this game. Basically, it's just trial and error, trying to figure out how to get the things lit up. We move three of them, and then one on the bottom, and it lines up. Then one, two, then the bottom one, and another one lights up. Then we go one, two, three, four, and the bottom one, and the bottom lights up. And the door opens. So now we're going to leave. So if we look, there's a lever here. But it doesn't work. There's a key. And look, right up there is a key. But we can't reach it. But if you run all the way over here, you can grab the step ladder. Jump and move, buddy. Come on. Now we got the key. We can unlock it. Oh my goodness. Look at all these poor kids. I thought for a while, how in the world do I tell which one is my brother? But it's easy. He's the very last one in the line. So we set him free. Squish. And they found each other. So that's the end of the game. So leave a comment. Let me know how you liked it. Um, I know someone else already commented that they love the art style. I do too. I really like it. Uh, the game itself. I do like puzzle games. So that was fun. I enjoyed it. And that was about as scary as I want to get for Halloween. So I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.